With news from Russia and from around the world, we're here in Moscow. It's now 9 o'clock on Monday night. Hackers have tried to prove global warming researchers are massaging the figures after stealing sensitive emails from one of the UK's leading climate research centres. The documents were then made available to the public from a Russian server. Well, for more details, let's now cross live to Igor Piskanov. Uh, Igor, how damaging then are these emails? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that this is a great amount of information which has just been released uh, to the public in the Internet. And uh, this information has to be analyzed because, according to reports, there's more, more than a thousand emails which reflect bits of discussions between various scientists throughout uh, several years. But from what we've, uh, from the information that we've got so far, so far some of these alleged emails uh, may actually hold the key uh, or, or actually the clues to prove that uh, the theory of global warming is a huge conspiracy. For example, the, there's uh, one email uh, coming out, coming from one scientist, and in this alleged email, the scientist claims that uh, he had to use additional data uh, in order to hide the decline of global temperatures. So this, of course, if this is true, then uh, this, this is proof that this could be a, cons a conspiracy. There's an, another alleged email uh, says that uh, there has been manipulation of data and that uh, this data may not be actually adequate in the scales of global warming because uh, some studies, according to this alleged email, have been done just in, in several parts of the world, but not in, in, the, in the whole world, so they do not reflect the whole picture. So, like I said, there's a lot of, of information which has to be analyzed now, and especially that there, there's these claims that uh, the, uh, this, university's, uh, this university's website was attacked by Russian hackers because this, these emails first emerged on a Russian FTP, FTP site. All of this is yet to be approved and, uh, in Durman, in, in, and determined and has now become a subject of a big investigation. So then how are critics against the theory behind global warming now seizing on this? Well, some critics of the theory of the global warming have already called it proof of the biggest conspiracy of the 21st century because we know that there's been a lot of talks going on about global warming on all levels, on all governmental levels and uh, on the levels of uh, just uh, companies and, uh, and industries. And, and they've, they've said that this, is, uh, this could be considered, these emails could be considered as proof of this huge conspiracy. However, it's important to stress that there are also scientists who are also considered to be skeptics of this theory, but they say that they don't actually see uh, that this could be considered so far. They haven't actually found uh, any proof that this is, a, this is a, a huge conspiracy, but they say that uh, these uh, articles or this information which has been published could have been uh, actually not meant for the public because they are not scientifically correct, and that's why uh, this university has been trying to hide them from the public. So uh, this, is, this creates just uh, more mystery about the story, since even the skeptics are not sure that this can be uh, can considered real proof of uh, any conspiracy. But, but it does look possible that those emails have been written by British scientists. So what about those scientists? Uh, um, what have they had to say now about claims they are actually manipulating figures for their own cause? Well, the university itself has confirmed that its, uh, its uh, website was attacked by hackers, although it did not specify which of these emails actually were authentic and which uh, could have been falsified and uh, whether they were actually in fact falsified. So this is also going to be investigated, but actually some of the scientists who did uh, confirm that uh, some of these emails belonged to them and were written by them earlier, they said uh, that these are just bits of uh, information taken out of the context, context of their emails and of the messages that they wanted to make, and they do not reflect the meaning of what they actually wanted to say in these messages. All right, we'll leave it there for the moment. Thanks very much. You got it, Piskinov, for an update there on uh, this new story we have here on RT. Thanks very much indeed.